Assalamualaikum students uh, Year 6 of Fajikis Sungkai So today we are going to learn about punctuation And I want you to refer to your textbook Page 6 Okay So you are going to use this one And I want you to write the answer in your activity book too Oh no, writing book too the learning standards are 3.2.3 able to use punctuation correctly 3.1.1 able to write in neat legible print with correct spelling in sentences uh, and the success criteria are people can use punctuation in six sentences correctly uh, nanti dalam buku tu ada Enam ayat dan awak kena betulkan uh, tanda bacanya. People can rewrite three paragraphs using punctuation. Murid akan menulis semula tiga uh, paragraph menggunakan punctuation yang betul. For punctuation, we are uh, today you are going to learn six. The first one is full stop. Full stop ini ialah tanda nota ataupun tanda berhenti. It is placed at the end of a complete sentence. Diletakkan di penghujung ayat. Uh, this is full stop. Uh, yang macam ni. For example, if you write complete sentence ya. I love you. Full stop. Now, question mark. Question mark ialah tanda so out. Like this. Please at the end of a sentence when asking a question. Dia letak di penghujung ayat apabila bertanya soalan. For example, Do you love me? Tanda so Al uh, question mark. Awak sayang saya tak? Uh, tanda soal question mark. Now for quotation mark, dia rupa dia macam ni. Ah, uh, digunakan use in a sentence or questions to indicate speech or conversation. Digunakan di dalam ayat ataupun soalan untuk uh, bertanya uh, pers, uh, bertanya ataupun percakapan ataupun perbualan. Okay, for example, um, buka. Okay. I hope I don't fall. Ah, dia tinggal ni buat. Ah, okay. Saya harap saya tak jatuh. So, di sini ada koma ya. Saint Akil. Ah. Bila dia cakap, said akil, uh, cakap akil. Okay, next, exclamation mark. Ha, ni teacher selalu nampak. I usually saw this one in on TikTok. Dia selalu cakap macam ni. Oh, no. Ha, terkejut kan? Oh, no. Ha. I hope I don't fall. Okay. Ya ini ialah percakapan. So kita letak tutup. Eh buka. Tutup. Koma. Say. Okay. Ah, ni. Tanda seru. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, Suka tila nak cakap macam mana pun. Ah, dia terkejut kan. Ah, strong emotion. Menunjukkan perasaan yang sangat kuat. Okay. Now, capital letter used to begin a sentence in proper nouns and direct speech. Digunakan untuk permulaan ayat, uh, kata dan menghas. Uh, contoh, ini huruf besar ya, capital letter. Huruf besar. I love you. Siti. Zulaika uh, Full stop uh, Nampak? Di sini I huruf besar, proper noun 
Siti Zulaika pun proper noun. Uh, dan juga permulaan ayat. Beginner sentence. Okay. Lastly, comma. Used to separate phrases, phrases or item in the list. Digunakan untuk membahagikan frasa ataupun benda-benda uh, di dalam list. For example, um, okay. I love to eat durian, mango, oh, mango, and apple. Oh, panjang sangat. Okay, see ya? Untuk membahagikan. Untuk membahagikan tiga buah-buahan ni. Durian, mango, and apple. You don't, uh, you don't need to put uh, this one a comma here or comma here because kita ada ada penyambung ayat so this is comma now okay this is uh, in your textbook uh, page 6 i want you to write to copy and write it back uh, in your activity book 2 okay now i want you to correct the sentences for example, here, as you see, tan. Uh, di sini, beginning of a sentence, kena huruf besar. And tan is also a uh, proper noun. Nama dia, kata nama khas dia kan? So, this one, dia jadi huruf besar. Tan and his wife, Jenny. Jenny, huruf besar, kata nama khas juga. Live in a village by the seaside. Uh, belakang, kalau ayat penuh, kita letak apa? Kita letak full stop. Okay, ada enam soalan. Ha, salin semua ni di dalam buku aktiviti activity book. Hai, okay next. Rewrite the passage using correct punctuation. Ini lagi satu kerja. Okay, di sini permulaan ayat tadi dan juga kata nama khas tan. Okay, so lots of food on the table. Full stop. Jenny, huruf besar. This one full stop. Ha, macam ni ya, salin ni semua di dalam buku activity book 2 ok, that's it, good luck um, uh, we see you after the uh, Chinese New Year bye